Hi, I'm back with another video and in this video I'll show you how to hollow your 3D models with MeshMixer. MeshMixer is an open source software and you can download it from meshmixer.com. I put the link uh, in the description. And if you are using resin 3D printers, this video is for you. Let's go. First, you have to import your steel or OBJ files uh, into the mesh mixer. Then uh, we go to edit, we select hollow. Okay, if I zoom in, you can see the object now has a thickness. To change the wall thickness of your object, uh, change this value. Uh, let's say I want one millimeter wall thickness you don't see the changes yet because I have to click on update hollow okay uh, now I have one millimeter wall thickness but one millimeter is too risky. I usually set it to 1.5 or two millimeters. Yeah, I'll change this value again. I think 1.5 is great. You can change the accuracy from here. In this case, we don't want to be that precise. And mesh density makes the inner surface smoother. And I don't need to change it. Uh, so. Uh, let's update the uh, hollow All right when we print hollow objects using resin or powder 3d printers We need at least one hole to let the resin or powder gets out of the object uh, So here I select generate holes and you can see at the bottom of bottom of my objects I have two holes. Uh, I can change the numbers here uh, if the object is big I I usually set it to two or three uh, you can drag them wherever you want and I also can change the radius of these holes from here um, let's say five millimeters uh, or seven millimeters uh, uh, yeah seven millimeters looks fine to me and I can uh, drag them wherever I want. Okay, the, this old tapper is very useful. Make sure to use it. Uh, you can save uh, more time for getting rid of excess resin. I usually set it to five or uh, four millimeters in this case uh, I think four is fine all right uh, now now let's see the result great uh, now I use plain cut uh, to show you the uh, wall thickness and the holes we have made at the bottom now you can see the thickness here uh, let's see the bottom and the holes Okay, that's it. Uh, with this method, you can easily make hollow objects. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.